Polynesian navigation, weapons and warfare, houses, food, clothing, art, religion. Navigation The fact that the Polynesians inhabited Easter Island is almost as remarkable as their achievements in sculpture. Easter Island is 1,750 miles from Mangareva and is an isolated speck in a wide open ocean. The Polynesians sailed to Easter Island as they sailed to the Marquesas and to New Zealand, and as they had sailed for hundreds of years from island to island across the broad Pacific. Their craft were frail but buoyant and generations of experience, added to bravery and enterprise, had made them the best navigators of their time in the world. They lacked nautical instruments, but their knowledge of the stars and of the winds prevailing in the different seasons kept them on their main course, while their custom of sailing in squadron, spread over a wide front by day, though gathered together at night time increased their chance of sighting land. Weapons and Warfare The Pacific often belies its name, with even the smallest community inhabiting low coral islets finding occasion for war. The men loved fighting at all times, and social and economic stress gave them frequent occasion. Fighting, however was not haphazard, custom and tapu impose upon it a certain orderliness. Treacherous attacks were seldom made, instead, a raiding party would halt before its opponent village, and formal challenges from tribe to tribe, from family to family, and even from individual to individual would be made. Sometimes, indeed, the battlefield was carefully cleared of trees and shrubs. Houses Houses in tropical Polynesia were merely thatched rooms, supported on stout center and side posts, and, except for movable screens used temporarily to keep out driving rain were without walls. Throughout Polynesian dwelling houses were of modest size, but very large buildings were erected to serve as meeting places and guest houses, and as a focus for hospitality and social and religious ceremonies. These houses stood on a stone platform originally no more than a foundation. In eastern Polynesia the platform became much larger and more elaborate and was bounded by carefully built walls of dressed stone around which stood either large upright slabs or carved stone figures representing gods or ancestors. The erection of commemorative carvings is a fundamentally Eastern Polynesian practice which found expression in a medium and a manner related to local conditions and resources. In Tahiti, stone figures were fashioned and in the Marquesas Islands naturalistic carvings in both wood and stone were made. But it was in Easter Island however that sculptures attained their most majestic proportions. Large, but not gigantic. Stone figures formally stood in Reivavi, a southern outlier of the Tahiti Islands. Statues of wood and stone of medium size were made also in the Marquesas Islands and from these and other resemblances it is often considered that the Easter Icelanders could have migrated from the Marquesas though, there is evidence in culture and myth that Mangareva might have been their last prior homeland. Food Two trees, coconut and breadfruit provided the staple vegetable food of Polynesia and their relative importance was in accordance with the height of the island. Coconut grew on low-lying areas while the breadfruit was planted on the slopes of the high islands. Breadfruit was baked for daily use, and mashed baked breadfruit, which kept indefinitely provided both a valuable reserve for food for time of scarcity and an esteemed relish at all times. In Polynesia, the serving of food to guests was done in accordance with the degree of ceremony. Kava is drunk throughout Polynesia, except New Zealand and is made by adding water to the pounded root of the pepper tree. In some low islands a special brew of coconut is substituted for kava. In all sections of the South Sea Islands, food bowls were made of wood, but pottery was made only in some parts of Melanesia. Clothing For clothing, a strong, tough, but pliable paper, tapa, was made by felting the inner bark of the paper mulberry tree and the breadfruit, but plated grass fabrics were also made everywhere, and alone were used on the coral atolls. Tapa was decorated with attractive designs, which were usually painted but sometimes printed. Art 
the chief decorative art of Polynesia was wood carving. Also, tattooing had an ornamental purpose as did the painted designs on tapa and the intricate cord lashing patterns on ads handles. Intricate carved patterns on weapons, canoe, and houses generally had some symbolic significance, perhaps a story of the gods, or some episode in legends or tradition. The most obvious symbolism are found on the Easter Island tablets, the carvings on which appear to have hieroglyphic characters. Religion The commemoration of ancestors whose personal mana persisted after death was an essential part of Polynesian religion. The only variation was in the relative importance of the different gods. The chief place, according to Tain in New Zealand, was held by two, the war god in Hawaii, and by Tangaro in Central and Eastern Polynesia. Sometimes the function of a god varied, Rongo, the Tahitian god of agriculture became a war god in Hawaii. <laughs>